I'm about to go out for a completely essential journey, uh, which is absolutely imperative that I go on the bike and couldn't be done in the car whatsoever. And it's definitely not gonna be any longer than it needs to be. Obviously, it all togged up. It got me thinking how tough us bikes are. We're just braving the elements, you know? Just, you know, we don't care. Bit of rain, <laughs> bit of snow, <laughs> who cares? And uh, I know I did a video on these heated gloves. So I thought I'd do a video on this as well. Most of the time when you see that on the internet, it's not quite um, as laid up as this, is it? This is the Kais V501, I think it is, heated vest. As you can probably see, it's pretty cold today. I'm gonna do a little bit of a review on what I think of it, how I found it, and um, how I think it could be slightly improved. So we are obviously out on the bike it's bloody windy so if, if you're getting any wind noise i do apologize first of all the jacket itself is it's very thin it's very uh, lightweight so you don't you but barely feel it on like as in under my uh, jacket i can't tell that i've even got it on it doesn't feel any different to wearing a normal t-shirt underneath your jacket or anything which is nice come on God, everyone's been so slow today. Just taking their sweet ass time. Talking about the fit, these sizes come up enormous. So to give you a bit of context, in every single jacket I have, t-shirt, jumper, anything, I'm a size large. I'm about a 44 inch chest, which I think is, uh, well, I was at least when I was in going to the gym. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm about a 44 chest. So that equates to large in basically anything. Now, stupidly, I didn't actually check uh, size guides and stuff like that, which is obviously my own fault. But everyone in the comments and everything as well was saying, go down a size, you're, what, you're gonna wanna go down a size. The reason I bought this is I was down in Cornwall, uh, at my parents' house. This was between the first and second lockdowns I went down and then I had to come back because of new restrictions and whatnot. I had a couple of days before I was going to leave and then it was saying it was going to snow and uh, the weather was minus temperatures, it was so cold so I thought I'll buy one of these and that'll do me for the way home at the time, bike stop my uh, my beloved bike stop didn't have the size I, I can't remember if they didn't have the size in stock or they didn't. the delivery wasn't quite quick enough, I can't remember what it was so I ordered the large and from sports bike shop and it turned up and it was absolutely enormous. I could have put it on over my shoulders and like around my arms and everything, had my on my arms inside, that's how big it was. Checking on their size guide thing, a 42 to a 44 I think was a medium, so I thought, oh, I'll get that. It's still quite big. I mean, it's a lot better. Like obviously these, with the heating elements, you obviously want them as close to your body as possible, it, it, which is fine with the medium with this on but you want, basically, you want to go down a size at the minimum. The jacket is fantastic, so I rode home and it was, I mean, I tried to get some footage. If you've all got GoPros, you'll know how crap they are as soon as it gets a little bit cold. So the GoPro point blank refused to turn on when it was snowing, so I was trying to get some footage. So I was riding home on the motorway and absolutely freezing my knackers off. Like, I think my lower half was numb. By the time I got home, I'm pretty sure I had chill blains on my legs because my legs were just bright red. But having said that, I had my heated jet vest on uh, and I had my heated, my Gerbing heated gloves on. I'll put a link up in the top corner if you're interested. My top half was so warm. But yeah, they've gone up quick. Jesus. Didn't even know they were building there. Oh god, that's the oldest thing I've ever said. Oh, look at those, they've got up quick, haven't they? Where was I? Basically, the heated jacket was fan like fantastic, it was so good. I was a bit surprised because when I got this out, you can f sort of, you can loosely feel the heated elements. Um, they're just like thin, thin wires, really. And they only come to about halfway down the jacket, it's so like halfway down your chest. So they've got them down the front and down the back, and they come to about halfway down your chest. They're not completely across the jacket, so you've got like patches. So I'll put in a clip there so you can see what I mean. Um, so I was a little bit pissed off about that, but wearing it, there's literally like, it's so warm. And like most of the time, like today, I've been out for a couple of, a good couple of hours today. And 
I've just had it on low because I don't need it. I mean, it's like six degrees or whatever it is at the moment. And I've had it on low because you just don't need it any hotter. It's so warm. So this jacket for the men's version is £140 in the UK, obviously. The women's version is 150 which I don't understand. I assume it's more like contoured, contoured shape or something like that, but personally I think that's a bit, a bit sexist, isn't it? It's a bit sexist, uh, making women pay an extra tenner. It's not right. But the thing that actually bugs me, the thing that really gets to me, is the fact that it doesn't come with a controller. Thanks, bro. Um, yeah, it doesn't come with a heat controller. Uh, this thing. Um, that is an additional thirty pounds. I only realised that it didn't come with one, and I had to order. I had to order that when I ordered the um, the medium, which is that's an extra thirty quid. Like, why didn't you just include it? You may as well charge an extra thirty quid for the jacket and just include it. What's the point in having a heated jacket that when you plug it in, it goes to the hottest hottest possible, and then there's no middle ground. You're either really cold or the jacket's on as hot as it goes. That was a bit annoying. The controller is actually really good. It's got uh, high and low, a uh, high low and a medium setting. So I hope you can see that. Um, and then you literally just press between them like that to go between the different temperatures it's just, yeah just a bit of a pain in the backside that doesn't come with it having said that i think i mean there's a lot of jackets nowadays that don't come with the controllers i know some gloves don't even come with the controllers i just think it's a bit nonsensical it's like installing heating in your house but without having a thermostat a lot of people talk about the um faff of sort of plugging yourself in now the thing, when I finally upgrade these Gerbin gloves, I will change to Kais. Now the reason for that, I don't think there's any difference between the Gerbin and the Kais. There's, I mean, they're both good heating elements. They're both good products. Um, but the Kais stuff, I'm, I'm sure the Gerbin will as well. But the Kais stuff all plugs into itself. So theoretically, you can get heated insoles, you can get heated trousers, you can get heated jackets and vests and gloves one point i will make is if you've got the heated gloves for the kais they i don't think they plug into the vest there's no wire that comes from the gloves or from the vest into the gloves so i assume the the jacket will because it's obviously long sleeve be warned about that but if you've got the heated jacket and you've got the heated gloves and you've got the heat trousers and the heated insoles if you really want to go to town they all plug into each other so the, and then the jacket is the only thing that plugs into the bike so you've only got one wire that just means that you don't have loads of wires hanging out like i currently do yes okay it's a bit more faff put getting ready but i mean plugging in a wire to another like socket thing it's just like these ones they're so easy to plug in um so plugging that in while you're getting ready is not exactly a hardship is it and i think if you're going to the like i've said in the heated glove video if you're going to the extent of plugging yourself in and you haven't bought the batteries i don't know if you can get batteries for this i assume you can um but if you haven't bought the batteries you're obviously doing a long enough journey to warrant plugging yourself in and the half a second it takes to plug your uh, yourself into the bike is worth it so you don't have to worry about the battery life and all that sort of crap I'm really impressed with the, the with the jacket and I, every time I've sort of mentioned it to people they're inquisitive as to whether it's any good or not and it genuinely is like I don't I wouldn't make a review video saying I suppose it's integrity in a way I'm not going to say something's fantastic and really good if it's crap because then if you lot go and buy it and it's crap you'll go well uh, Sam told me it was good and it's shit so why like everything else from there every time i review something you're not going to believe it but yeah i genuinely think this is a really good jacket uh i am thinking about getting the trousers as well so i think if they can just tick off those small little things correct me if you think i'm wrong or if there's an like if you know there's an actual reason behind it but why is the women's one more expensive the sizing it's not a big issue it's a bit annoying but you know like it's just make sure you don't do what I did and make sure you just read the uh, size guide and you'll be fine. And include the controller. Such a good purchase for if you're doing long trips. 
or even if you're commuting into work and in the winter and it's uh, you've got a 40 minute journey plugging yourself in is not an issue if it's a 40 minute journey whereas if you're only doing 10 15 minutes it's not really there's not really a lot of point you may as well try and get the batteries and if you've got the batteries then they'll last for your way in and way home sort of thing do you actually need one my ability to deal with the cold has dropped exponentially since i've been working from home and i, th I think that's just because i'm constantly sitting inside in 20 odd degree heat with the heating on i'm barely going outside i mean it's been a week since i left the house obviously I'm, my body's getting used to being warm all the time so i don't know whether that's a main factor as to why i suddenly need to deal with all this stuff i've dealt with winters before without it but then the other part of me is saying well actually if i look at something like my cotswolds tour when i went up to scotland and stuff like that stupidly i didn't take my heated gloves to scotland well like, absolute moron proper rookie mistake there's quite a lot of those bits where i was really miserable because i was so cold i couldn't enjoy the bike and i know i said it before in my heated glove video but if you're not thinking about how cold you are you're immediately enjoying the ride more you're immediately enjoying the experience more but when you look at it from that perspective 150 odd quid and call it 160 170 if you include the controller to actually be able to enjoy your ride it's worth every single penny there is the argument for suck it up and we're real bikers why does it mean we have to be cold wet and miserable when you could get decent gear that keeps you dry you get heated gear that keeps you warm like why why do you need to be some burly biker that can deal with all the elements when there is advancements in technology which means you, you just you're happier i'm rambling on a bit now <laughs> the ability to be warm on the bike is the difference between being able to go out during the winter and actually enjoy a ride or leaving your bike in the garage or under the cover for six months of the year while you're waiting for the summer to come back around you always get little fat kids just staring at the bike like yeah rev it rev it so overall synopsis if they can include the controller regardless whether it ups the price if they can sort out the sizing or you just buy this size smaller it's worth it all day long i'll put some links in the description for it if you're interested and i'll put a link at the end for the heated glove video thanks for joining me and i will see you in the next one